Oh my goodness. <laughs> Snuck up on me there. <laughs> what is it? Game time, baby? Is it game time? Game time. What Let's is go. up, everybody? Welcome to the pregame show. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's that the energy. Guys, nuggets. I don't want to like over, you know, I don't want to step on you, anyone's horns. You got to match the energy. No, dude, you, you can't gotta, go too you gotta, high. You don't step on horns, you add to them. It's a uh, cumulative horn process. All right. I've had people tell me, you know, that, hey, it's the energy. that That's how you get the energy going. They're waiting. They're jonesing for the air horns. Um, I'm jonesing for the nuggets taking on the Washington Wizards tonight because I have said all week long that tonight is going to be a vibes night. I know you tempt fate by getting your hopes up too high. I don't care. My hopes are through the roof for tonight's game. I'm very excited about it. The well-rested Nuggets hosting a very short-handed Wizards. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Uh, we're going to talk about the small forward position. I got takes on that. I've been thinking. I've, the day's off, Eric. You know this. What is it? Idle hands? What is the what is it? The, devil, devil's the devil's? Yes, yeah, yeah, devil. something like that. Yes. Yeah. I've had idle hands for several days. What? So, what, what has the devil been doing, I don't, dude? Yeah. I actually feel like we screwed this metaphor up terribly. Yeah, I missed that one. We've had four days off, and I've come, gone through the numbers. I've gone through the tape. I've got takes. I've got theories. Oh, no. I'm going to present them. <laughs> We're also going to power rank, guys. Will Barton, Monte Morris, they're back in town. Beloved Nuggets, at least to myself. We're going to power rank the best of the Jokic era. Nuggets that have moved on. Um, and to help me do that, i got a very special guest today. Not Eric. It's Winningsburg. Let's go. It has to be a vibes night. It's got to be or a vibes Or else I'm not night. coming on the post-game show. And I've already said I was coming on the post-game show. That'd be so. a really tough break for me and Eric. To yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to uh, move the set around, Kale. Two-man show. It's happening, though, man. Are you kidding? Everything's coming up RK this year. Really. I mean, at least. Other than the Broncos. Yeah, I was going to say, at least the buffs. <laughs> at least the buffs. That's everything to you, Yeah, exa it, it kind of is. Uh, I'm also setting a personal record today. Uh, the post-game show. God willing, uh, <laughs> will be my fifth show of the day. That's, that's the record? A, that's a PR. Yeah. Is it a tie or a set? That's a set record. Hold it. I feel like it would have been a little higher than that. I'm kind of surprised, but that's still very impressive. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like you're that's impressed with yourself. I'm like, can six, is that it? I don't even know <laughs> I can find six. <laughs> uh, over here, though, I do have D-Line Co., but you guys know him as Eric. That's right, guys. I'm ready to watch some Nuggets basketball. I'm hoping that they win tonight. Hell yeah. yeah. All right. Well, there's that energy we were looking for. <laughs> we're presented, as always, though, by DraftKings Sportsbook, America's top rated sportsbook app. Use promo code DNVR. Sign up and gamble along with us. Dev's not here, but we got something even better an upgrade. He's not watching tonight. An upgrade over <laughs> Superstar Dev. Uh, our actual professional gambler here uh, and host of Bets, RK, will be handing out winners. But first, let's get to some news and notes. Michael Porter Jr. still has not gone, according to our own Harrison Wind, has not gone through contact drills yet. He's been a participant in practice. You guys want a real inside note here? Oh, yeah. Given to me by my buddy Ryan. He, not you, different buddy, say, different buddy I have Ryan. Notes? They had an event on Monday where it was like season ticket holders or something gets to go. Uh, had a shooting competition with Michael Porter Jr. in flip flops. So the heel thing, I don't, you can read what you want into this. Bro, mm. this the heel contusion is this, that like, I, think I mean, I don't want to dig too deep into this, but like, that's the strangest. Thing I've ever heard, especially for it to be lasting as long as it has. I mean, I I hear heel, I hear drop foot, I hear yeah, you're just, complication. <laughs> I, I mean, but you're like a real doctor now. Yeah. But I mean, like contusion. How long does a contusion take to heal? Uh, I mean, That's just a fancy word for a bump. Yes, isn't it? it's a bruise, dude. <laughs> it turned into a strain, though. Just so you know. So like, I mean, who knows what this is, guys? But the point is, I can imagine RK. If I had a bad heel injury, I would not be doing jump shots and flip flops, unless. What hurts is having something wrapped around oh, your heel. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> you guys are Debbie Downers. My vibes are through the roof. You guys are seeing the like the the, the cloud. I actually wasn't trying to do that. I was just trying to <laughs> yeah, logically think it through. Michael shooting three-pointers and flip-flops. He's back. He's back. He's, back. <laughs> he's fucking is that, back. Is that what we're supposed to say? Yeah, he's back. He's back, he's okay. back baby. Let's go. All right, well, but also, he's not back tonight. He's out. <gasps> okay, <laughs> <So>. well, listen. <laughs> listen, uh, let's, be, let's be slow there. Um... Porzingis is out tonight. Bradley Beal is out tonight. So this is a very shorthanded uh, Wizards roster. You've also got, by the way, the Wizards reeling seven straight losses. Mm. Seven straight losses. Poor West Unseld's Wizards. Um, they haven't had Monte Morris. Curiously enough, he's missed the last couple games. Sounds like he's been good to go. But you know a guy coming back from injury? You know he wasn't going to miss Denver. No. So, like, no don't chance. risk it and come back too early. I think I almost feel like he, for real, waited for tonight. Wow. Um, I feel honored. Yeah, that he was like, I'm not. I have to be on the court in Denver. 
Um, that's my that's my Dude, homecoming it's, it's game. Mr. Nugget coming back to or Mr. Wizard coming back to reclaim Mr. Nugget. I I, I, I love it. <laughs> he did. Both of those guys did talk. We actually have the videos up on our YouTube page if you want to see their interviews. I thought it was a sombor a sombor. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a somber, somber. a somber. somber Will he Barton. shuffled through a somber. <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. Did you watch this, Eric? No, I didn't. You were not in- curious enough to check out Will Barton speaking about Denver. Uh, I am, I am, but I, I have uh, responsibilities and duties that I have to attend to during the day. I, I specifically just... uh, asked Adam, "Is there anything I should prep for?" <laughs> <laughs> I was not uh, made aware of the Will Barton. You used to be on the show where like you, you just get shamed. At really points. <laughs> I was like, "You well, didn't do that thing I didn't tell yeah. you about." <laughs> anyway, it was a somber uh, Will Barton. I thought he seemed a little bit down. I mean, look, Will Barton's a tragic figure to me. He I really agree. is. Like, I agree. He is a guy who gave his heart and soul to Denver. Maybe hung around one year too long, and be you know what is it? If you don't die the hero, you become a. You, a, you a either live. Long, you either die a hero or live, live long, long enough, enough to become to a villain. See yourself yeah. become the. Villain, I feel like yes. that's what happened to Will Barton. Is that he kind of went out on not on top. The opposite of going out on top, he went out on bottom, and uh, it's unfortunate because I love Thrill. and I felt like he he was asked specifically, "What do you expect from the fans tonight?" And you could kind of be like. You know, I don't know. I try not to think about it, which is not like if you ask Monte, what do you expect from the fans tonight? He's like, oh, I love Denver. Mm-hmm. You know, he's excited to see what fans do. Will Barton was like, I don't know, man. They might boo me. And I hate that. Man, if they boo him, I am going to quit the show. Oh, don't I'm like, do that. If you Nuggets <laughs> fans boo Will Barton, I quit you. Like that that would be so disgusting to me. That would be disgusting. Like that would be I would be so embarrassed by being affiliated with a group that would boo Will Barton. I really, really hope that doesn't happen. I, I don't also think it will. acknowledge that like the real fans, I think, don't feel that way and certainly wouldn't boo him. There are real fans who don't like Will Barton or, right. you know, f- I guess we're more critical of him, but I'd, I don't think they would boo him. I think that people who like get the nuggets and understand the journey that they're currently on yeah. know that like Will Barton was a character in the journey. He was, you know, he was liked by his teammates. He gave his heart and soul whenever he was healthy to try and win games like you don't boo that guy you boo guys who yeah, you, boo you know who J. J. shit on the town on their yeah. way out you boo yeah you boo uh jeremy grant you boo carmelo anthony like these are these are people that deserve your boos because they made it clear that they did not love you right will barton right. did nothing he but give sad. his everything yeah. to the denver nuggets he had a bad playoff game uh and he uh, had two games in a row where he missed the last second shot and forevermore like the people flipped on him it was terrible yeah. but he also provided so many goddamn great moments will barton is just he's the people's champ to me i uh i'll, I'll like I, if i hear single boo i'm I, I swear to god i'm gonna find you you might spit you'd be so mad i will spit is there a guy <laughs> like this for the broncos that you love and you think people that are like super close to the team love drew luck but fans <laughs> but fans maybe an aggregate hated hmm drew lock is a very interesting one not nearly as good at his sport as will barton is at his um yeah because he was more of like and he on didn't the come up and never yeah, got there exactly um oh, but it, 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 <laughs> he was a very divisive character in the sense of a lot of yeah. people liked him Jake a Plummer. lot of people hated him um Plummer is an interesting one i i think he was more i don't know he's one of those things where it's like the further away you get from the action, everyone's like, oh, yeah, I love Jake yeah, Palmer. Yeah, yeah. It's like, bro, That's if there true. was Twitter, we would have some receipts <laughs> I know. of things you said. That's so true. The Plumber just came in the shadow of Elway. That's the problem. All those yep. guys. That, that, Everyone that is now in the shadow of Elway and Manning. So it's like yeah. nothing but top five quarterback of all time will do. I'm excited for Will Barton's return, and I hope he misses every shot tonight. <laughs> he's not going to. He's not. Uh, you think he's going to go off? I do. <clears throat> we'll know early. Monte, by the way, um, it was funny. Here's the last thing about the two of them in from shoot around is Will was asked, like, how do you game plan for Yoke? He's like, you don't. Seriously, there's nothing you can do. He can do everything. <laughs> Monte was asked. He's like, we got some things planned for him. Like, oh, God. I thought it was no, very interesting. Two, two little strategies. <laughs> like, I'm plan. excited to see plan our all plans. You want. I feel like Will Barton was in the meeting where they came up with the plans, and he was like, that ain't working. Anyway, that's not <laughs> Good, luck. <laughs> Good luck. Good job. Yeah, you know, that'll work. Uh, Monte, good luck. Look, I'm telling you, and we'll get to this later on the bets, but tonight the Nuggets got four days off. 
the Nuggets can win a lot of games by three points, and I don't feel great. Honestly, I'll be pretty disappointed in the Nuggets if they don't have a nice, they don't look good tonight. You're rested, you're at home, you got preparation. I'm telling you, but not only that, I, I phrase that in a negative way, Eric. What I really mean to say is I have a lot of confidence that the Nuggets are going to look very good tonight. I really do. Yeah, the disappointment comes from expectation not met. And there is great expectation for the Nuggets not only pulling themselves out of the funk that they've been in. I mean, we had road malaise. There, there, there's a way to write off almost every bad loss we yes. have experienced over the past month. There is absolutely no Rust. goddamn excuse. Rust. Rust. You're rusty. <laughs> I've already got the excuse. Already got it. <laughs> yeah, this is a, you, uh, RK covers the Broncos, if it's not clear. Uh, <laughs> listen, uh, the, the Nuggets have no excuse. This should be the start of what is... Uh, what we look back and we're like, that's when the season really started. This is when they started to take off. That's when the streak started. Uh, <laughs> like th this tonight, all right. by all rights, should be a good one. I uh, every time the Broncos lose, I'm like, they haven't played in seven <laughs> days. Every day, yeah. they're so rusty. <laughs> so they had to go to London <laughs> uh, two months ago. <laughs> Um, I've got another take for tonight for you guys. Oh boy, here comes tonight. The, take. the starters have fire are up the out. take machine. It's the exact same starters. The lineup has been okay because guess what? Jokic, Murray combos are just great no matter what you put around them. You add Aaron Gordon in there, oh my God. You add KCP in there, oh my God, that foursome. Yeah. Who could you put in there that would ruin it? Nobody, not even Bruce Brown. And I think, I want to make this clear, I think Bruce Brown's great. The more I watch the Nuggets this year, the more I realize that small forward spot really needs to have some length. This oh, yeah. sounds crazy to me, right? This sounds crazy, but if I look at three-man net ratings this season, and these are all in good sample size, with Jokic and Murray on the court, well, when you put Michael Porter there, plus 16, really good. That's mm -hmm. like, you know, all, all time. You put KCP there, plus 15. You put Aaron Gordon there, plus 14. You put Bruce Brown there, plus 4.8. How crazy is that, that with Bruce Brown on the court with Jamal and Yoke, the numbers go down that far? And I think we see this. Again, mm -hmm. I don't think this is a Bruce Brown problem. I think no. this is a Bruce Brown is playing small forward, and yeah. he is not a small forward Yeah, he's problem. a two. He's a, he might, honestly, you know what I was thinking? I think he's a one mm. that uh, next to a uh, point forward. Like, my whole thing is if you put him on Dallas, he would be a great one because he's small enough, but he's going to guard point guards defensively, and then he's, off, he's an off-ball one. It's interesting because wasn't that one of the big, like, selling points for him going to Denver is, oh, he's not going to have to play out of position anymore. <laughs> right. Well, until everybody got hurt, right? This okay. is just like Will Barton looked his worst as a small forward because guess what? He's not, not a small, a small forward. forward. Yeah, I mean, it's like, uh, gosh, what was the game just a couple games ago? Uh, where DeJounte Br Murray? Was it? Where, did, he drove the lane and just shot right over Bruce Brown. It doesn't, I mean, this is happening a lot. DeJounte no. Murray, Shea Gilles Alexander, a lot of guys yeah. that just were too big, and it's like they don't even see him. And again, that's one-on-one -on -one defense, but I actually think it has more to do with backside rotation. You need to have long, lanky Definitely. guys. And here's where I'm getting at. The small forward spot to me, and by the way, this is a starting and closing lineup problem, not a stagger. Lots of teams get to small lineups staggered because your best it's not your best punch you're going up against, right? You're going up against some of this or that. Bruce Brown, I think, can play small forward, but when you're starting with him and you have a historically great lineup and then all of a sudden you see the numbers drop that far when he is added to it, I don't think it works there. Is it so crazy to think that either of Christian Brown or even a Zeke Naji might be a guy that would be a better fit with those guys when you just talk about what's needed, defense and staying out of the way. <laughs> like, that lineup shows on everybody. I think both of those guys provide those things. Yeah, I, th I mean, I think you're right. And I think a lot of this is, you know, they're just trying – they're just, like, they got the, the veteran – in the off season, the guy that's supposed to be the, mm -hmm. you know, the glue guy, the Swiss Army knife, yeah. so that it's just the the logical plug to put him in. But I think that if Michael Porter Jr. is out for even a longer period of time, I think that Michael Malone would eventually get to that. Like, but playing a rookie over a, a veteran, I feel like it's just p a political move more than it is a so, strategic. Plus, MPJ shooting in flip flops, so he'll be back. Yeah, yeah he'll, <laughs> he'll be back, anyway. back soon. Like, who even cares? He's, he's back actually. Just not tonight. He's not back. Um, but, you know, you say that, and this all is stuff that sounds correct. Last year, Memphis Grizzlies, number two seed, right? Darlings. They started Zaire Williams, like the, a rookie. And oh, they, had, not, oh. they had so many players. Their team is deep, right, with veteran players, this or that. And they still were like, you know, this rookie who's not that all-around of a player and he's really raw, whatever, but aggregate length, does the oh, thing yeah. for us. 
and he's a fifth option. I mean, I agree with that 100%. The only, the only thing I can say to that is that that team was not coached by Michael Malone. Um, That's a problem, though. <laughs> well, this, this is a recurring theme on this show, is that like Michael Malone makes irritating moves, but then will eventually get to the right move. It's just, you, it never happens fast, like, as fast as you want it to. Right. He guides the Nuggets like a large tanker. And yeah, <laughs> he really does. <laughs> and that's a good thing. I think that is a good thing. But you do have to arrive at the right thing. And again, I just think that that is one of those ones that sounds bold until you go, actually, it makes sense. It's actually what this team needs. And it actually helps yeah. all your lamps. Patrick in the comments says, Adam, you told me Bruce was a 3-4 in the preseason. Guys, I did. I went on Zach Lowe's show and said that. I thought he was going to be the guy that was the defensive three if Michael Porter's not it. I'm telling you, updated information, you see it play out and you go, you know what? This isn't a thing. Aggregate length wasn't a thing I really factored in in this way, and, and that's no longer the case. So, yeah, I did say that. I'm wrong on it. But we have new information, and I think it's time you... you new know, information's come to light, man. New, new information's come to light. Uh, let's get into a fun portion here, though. Oh, finally I just the fun, put, We're going to talk more about this small forward thing, because the more I think about it, you just look at all the moves Calvin Booth made this offseason. Like, oh, yeah. He honestly got rid of small guys and added big guys. Mm -hmm. And even when you look at the two-way guys like a Jack White and a P and Peyton Watson who's at the end, these are all guys that are hopefully going to become options there. It's a little early for those guys is, to be yeah. options. But again, clearly trying to get rid of the old guys, the smaller guys, yet somehow we found the smallest possible combination of players, not just to play, we did it. but to start. We did this it. This is what's funny is Denver's <laughs> actually found the smallest combo to go to, and it's like, we wow. We did it. Are you, you know, yeah, it is pretty hilarious. It, it might be the obvious answer to the question of how did the defense get worse? What's that? Just getting smaller. Got, got, they got smaller. They're like, we only have three small players. What if we started all of them? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what if we I, catch everyone off guard every night? Yeah, it's just kind of funny. Um, guys, this is Monte Morris and Will Barton's return. Oh, baby. And, you know, Vote and I, years back, we started the brightest timeline, you know, hot box and hot takes. What would be the best case scenario? And it's always winning with your guys. Yep. This is why we talk about trading Michael Porter if you were to get something. There would be something just, even if it's the right move, it would just feel a little bit I less. Know, it feels dirty. It feels dirty. Yeah, who, who are we? What are we, the Warriors? I mean, I mean, as we, a, what are we, the Lakers? I mean, we would do it if As we someone had that is in basking in the glory of the coach primary, I just can't relate. <laughs> 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 win, I'll win with any players. You're so, like, we don't That's a different. <laughs> this is like the 2015 <laughs> Nuggets where we're like, like ready to trade ding, all of them. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Soul for sale. <laughs> Soul for sale. But it made me think here, what if we power ranked the ex nuggets who are no longer with us that we most wish that we could wish have been for the whole ride. Like if we could have just thing. if we could have just put that lineup in carbonite and kept it together. Yeah. And let them well, all move. Lineup it's interesting you say, because maybe it's not lineup. I see. Number one guy for me personally Let's that talk about I it. wish was still along for the ride. Tim Conley. Oh. Tim Conley. An oh. ultimate vibesman. An all-time vibesman. Whoa. And also, like, again, I'm not trying to say the, like, validity of who belongs. Like, did he deserve this or that? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying Tim Conley at the parade would have been fun. Tim Conley oh, at the DNVR bar first after off, the parade. Tim Conley will be at the parade. <laughs> don't, don't lie and to yourself. And also, there's just something, too, man. He's the one that found Young. Yes. He's the one that found Jamal. Like, he's the one that took Port. Like, you just kind of want somebody to be there. Dude, he's the architect of this team. And whether or not it was time for him to move on is irrelevant to this question. It's just he, it he would have moved on because it was here. time for him to move on. He moved on because he was stolen through the side door. <laughs> he was given a stake in an NBA franchise. I know, like that. He wasn't like, well, I thought long and hard. He was like, how much? Who would be your first RK of the guys of the Jokic era that you wish could have been along for the entirety of this ride? The guy Number that sticks one. out to me the most is uh, Kostis Papa Nikolai. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet, yeah. <laughs> really <laughs> endeared himself to you, yeah. <laughs> He's actually not even the worst one you could have said there. There's probably J.J. Hickson or something. J.J. Hickson <laughs> is well known, my least favorite player to ever come up with the Nuggets. Um, Nate Robinson technically was here during the era. I actually like Nate Robinson, but looking back, like he was... <laughs> If not a cancer, he was he was a COVID to the next. Do you remember? Oh, oh geez. <laughs> wow. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep All it right. moving. Uh, I, I honestly got to go Wancho. It, oh, I love this answer. That's no. a pure vibes answer. Oh, I yeah. know. He's like, RK is like, if we don't, if Wancho's not on the bench watching the Nuggets win, I don't know what it is. All I can imagine, 
is Jokic and Wancho on a parade float, like <laughs> shotgunning beers. Oh man, and, like, could, I again, need that. It, could it happen. might happen. Still You're right. You don't right. have to be on the goddamn team. Like we can get Bo Cruz. He's let's available. Do, let's do this. Nuggets win a championship. They're getting ready for a parade, and just out of nowhere, Wancho appears. Do they let him on the, the float? Of yes. course. <laughs> yes. They're not going to tell him. Sorry, man. You need to stay off. It's going to be like a Bo Byram situation <laughs> where they're like, "Sir, you need to get back in the crowd." He's like, "I'm on I'm the team." On the bus. <laughs> He's like, "I was on the team one time." All right. What's your what's your this is so e- this is uh, Gary. Okay. Yeah, Gary Harris. That's is it easy. Yes, really. Yes. Also, Monte and Will did not make our top our number one. Well, I mean, come on. I'm I'm going uh, back to the beginning of this whole thing. It really like, was Gary the beginning. Man. Harris came to us at again one of the lowest moments in the Nuggets history. So he true. was such a bright spot. He rose. Uh, meteorically, he was the first person that really figured out how to play alongside Nikola Jokic. He was a lockdown defender, and he had the best nickname of all time, Gary Harris. <laughs> <laughs> he did have a great one. It does feel like he... Such an OG, man. He was there for the beginning of it. You'd love for him to be there for and the And also, this one through five, these aren't the definitive rankings. You just got to go first. Yeah. Yeah, we're just doing one. We're just know, giving our we're own You're ones. saying he's not in our top five. Like, no, I said he wasn't our top pick. None of our top picks. Oh, so well, what I'm I mean. Yeah. Um, I, you know, yeah. what, I'm just saying. I'm just, it's interesting that we all had different answers for this one. Um, Gary was also there at... The Nuggets bubble was sort of the end of the... Then we were in purgatory after that. Yep. And he was there from the beginning to the... Uh, the Start yes. of purgatory, yes. and he was impactful along the way in all of those. So yeah, I, yeah. I think it is a really yeah. Good Gary Harris was the first tough trade we went through. Also, it really was mm. the first tough. This trade. Is, that was the end of innocence for the Denver Nuggets. Wancho, the trade was like, uh, but we come on. We I mean, it was like, I mean, we it was did. sad, but it was a little silly. It was a little silly that we <laughs> were so. sad. I was also sad about R.J. Hampton in that trade. <laughs> so he's in the G League. Right? I know he got I sent to the G League today. today. Uh, number two for me, Gary would probably be Gary. We already said. I think number three for me might be Monte. Mr. Nugget, man, he, it, the ultimate Mr. Nugget to me. He um, exemplifies all of what it means to be Mr. Nugget. Lovable, fun, good. You know, everybody liked him. Has 12 nicknames. Yep. Yeah, he does. I mean, yes, uh, Monte Morris, big game Tay. Even just seeing his interview today, man, this all smile. You just see how much he's, like, happy to be back. and Everybody loves he him. He has Nuggets fans always hit him up on Twitter, which I loved. How did Wancho get taken off the graphic? Wancho Erasure. I guess we're just doing my this list. Is unbelievable. Apparently. Yeah, I didn't even realize we. Uh, I, that's right. We do. You have didn't a really, list. Yeah, you didn't set this up in a way that, that was helping our producer Kale. Well, that's all right. Kale's, um, Kale's plowing through. He's doing a great job. You know what's interesting about Monte? Everything. Is on all of like the great things that he did, I can't remember, and I'm sure it's there, but I can't remember a time that he made like a very costly mistake or missed a really big shot. To where it like knocks him Mi- down, like Mr. all he Dependable. ever did was just go higher. <laughs> Monte Morris, it is Mr. true. Dependable. Monte Morris, he was always clutch. We always talked about how clutch he was at the end the, of the first, the end of third. Monte, yeah, of yeah. assist to turnover. To to yeah. uh, all right, number four to me would be Will Barton. To me, it's thrill. Uh, yeah, wi- yeah, thrill. Dude, he was the heartbeat of the team for a long time. Till he wasn't, but I you mean, know. I wish they would have won one. I'll with tell him. you. I'll tell you what names I'm bandying about over here. Yeah, I've got in my head. I've got Danilo Gallinari. Yep. Really? Who I love so much. He but just was a he different era to me. Yeah, well, that's the he, thing, he was here. He, he was not a Jokic era player per se, but I just he is a guy that I feel like I wish got come along to, to the ride. got some of the spoils because he. Uh, you know, he kept us afloat in bad times. And in the same vein, Kenneth Fareed. Kenneth Fareed, yep. I was thinking of him. Really? The manimal, huh? The man... Rah! The he manimal. would be fun back in that role of just, like, backup power forward that only plays 15 minutes, gets, like... Every now and then he has, like, four or five dunks in a five-minute stretch. Hell yeah, dude. Crowd... Bones and manimal would be fun as shit. Are you shit. kidding? So, That'd be the greatest oh, thing ever. Oh, man. That would be unbelievable. Huge I think, blocks. Hey, manimal's still available. I follow him on Instagram. He's in like Taiwan. We call them or, the man bones. Yeah, he's in like Estonia or something. Uh, anybody uh, else on this list? I mean, Millsap is uh, one. Millsap. I feel like deserves some mention here. I don't know if he would have made my top five. Wancho to me was right there. Yeah. I mean, there's lots of like lovable nuggets that are no longer with us, but it's like, I, I like the guys that were meaningful, that put in meaningful uh, or had meaningful effect on the actual. Um, record for the Nuggets that I just wish we didn't, you know, it's like trading for Aaron Gordon was such a bummer in that, you know, we needed to do it, but it's like that meme where you have Wesley Snipes like, sh- you know, pulling the trigger on a beloved Nugget oh, just to make wow. things better. Like, really yeah, dark. It's really wow. dark. Yeah. Uh, I have to say this for my guy, Brendan Vogt, Thomas Welsh. 
<laughs> Wish he was a yeah, that was really, Tom. That was real sad. Yeah, it was real sad when we <laughs> lost Tom Welsh. Actually, Tom Welsh might join the show one day. I mean, he might just be uh, <laughs> he's apply for the show through the uh, the channels. All right, let's open up DraftKings Sportsbook, America's top rate sportsbook app, and let Winningsburg over here give us some money. All right, you have money for us. Let's jump into the DraftKings Sportsbook app. All right, <clears throat> first one, and it's first because it's going to happen first. Nuggets minus three and a half in the first quarter. Oh, I love this bet. This the, is the best bet. Man. I do this love this stuff. bet. Dev never brings these kind of bets to us. <laughs> My uh, God, <laughs> I feel like great bet in these types of games. You usually they usually tip off, and you're like, oh my God, the Nuggets are going to destroy them. I'm doing a double bet on this. I'm so such a Whoa, believer. Let's go. And then you know, two dollars. Some, sometimes they take the foot <laughs> off the pedal in the second and third quarter, and then yeah. they got to come and finish the job in the fourth. But it feels like in these mismatch style games. The first quarter is where, in first and fourth quarter is where that really shows out the most. I love this bet. This bet is the most fun bet you can place on a Nuggets game, in oh. my opinion. Nikola Jokic over 44.5 points plus rebounds plus assists. And the reason why this is the most fun bet is because he's pretty much involved in every play. So then every <laughs> time something happens, you're like, yep, that counts for me. Yep, that counts for the me. Only, this is Jokic, points, rebounds, and assists. Isn't the it super the high? only, the only thing half. that makes me nervous about this is that should this game get out of hand and Jokic does not play his last stint, <sighs> this is when you lose Jokic bets. Yep, I know. I know. You, so you, if he's that confident, it's going to happen in three quarters. I'm, All right. I just I don't know if this is a three quarter game. Okay. Wow. Uh, and All then right. the final one, which is kind of related to that one, but it's just this is low enough for me. Jokic has scored over thirty one points in three out of the last four for the Nuggets. His number tonight is set at twenty five and a half. <laughs> I'm in. You like it, huh? All right, I'll take it even though I don't feel it. Because this is what I, I do. I finished with the one that you love so much. I know, yeah, really. I really just you started, started down you, the you staircase. Early, I'm putting dude. a half unit on this one. You went Moody on, on that one. That's fine, that's fine. Um, the other ones, I think it would be fun, yeah, let's have to some fun. at least c- consider the points for Monte or Will Barton. It's Will. I'm, 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 build, I'm going, I'm channeling. Dev, I'm gonna bet on the opposing team. Dev though always does it in the way you hate it. He would have bet Kuzma, and he would have faded Will Barton. <clears throat> yeah, it's so true. I'm gonna build the same game parlay. With oh, let's oh, do oh. it. I'm with you. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, Ooh, the Nuggets, re- former and yeah. yeah, yeah, current and former Nuggets only. So let's see. I here. think we need a vibes night SGP. A vibes night SGP. Yeah, I love it. I, I love it. anything I with a title. Generally form. works. Uh, so let's look at points first. Where are we? Uh, what are you going for? Are you having a hard I time I came navigating? prepared, at least. Yeah, yeah. I know well, you guys I didn't, didn't like two out of pro- my What a professional. <laughs> okay, Will Barton. Uh, over... He's been, he's been in 13 a... 13-plus. He's been in such a funk, but... I know, but, like, listen. This I know, is, it's special We night. saw this when Will Barton would go back to Memphis, and he would just go, like, insane. Yeah, but the difference was he liked Memphis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the subtext there. Um, so you're going 13 plus. 13 right, plus I'll take points it. for Will Barton. You're already at plus. That. All right, what else? I'm going to go. Who's the big man for uh, the, no Chris Taj Gibson? Taj Gibson. Uh, okay, well, so you're that, not been there. That doesn't feel like a Jokic three. Kind it does of feel like a Jokic rebounds night though. It does feel like a Jokic rebounds night. Let's let's get those. I'm going to go Will. I'm also going to go Will Barton. Uh, two plus three pointers made. Man, I can't go with you there, but I'll go to I'll go to Jokic rebounds with you. Right. What are we doing? Ten and a half. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Yeah, Ten and a half rebounds. I think they defend tonight. And then, can I tell you what I'm feeling tonight, guys? What are you and feeling, it might bro? be because I had a Bones burger. Mm. Home game, well rested. I think Bones gets some threes tonight. Home You're bones. right. Why, why are we building well? Barton I would threes? go three I'm plus. Been... I would go three plus Bones threes tonight. Wow, that's all right. I the, my little three part parlay right now has uh, plus. What is my number here? It's not telling me because I can't bet on it for some reason. I have to add picks. All right, I'll keep adding. All right, yeah, that my my same game parlay. Mm-hmm. Not me Will either. Barton thirteen plus points, Nikola Jokic over ten and a half rebounds, and three plus Nashawn Bones Highland three pointers made plus six fifty. Mm. Man, how come you're getting it? I'm not getting it. Are you? This is also no, mine isn't working either. Oh. Um, huh. <clears throat> this is also guys a sweat. It's a, it's a no sweat Wednesday. Uh, yeah, that's right. I saw that no sweat Wednesday, which means. Your SGP is protected uh, at DraftKings Sportsbook. Why is this happening to me? There we there go. There we go. No sweat Wednesday. How it works. Opt in and place a bet on any game. If your first qualifying bet after opting in loses, you get your bet back in a free bet up to $10. So if you put $10 on this SGP, make it be your first bet that you make, uh, and then you can get 10 bucks off if it does not 
Uh, I love that. It. I didn't realize that it was Wednesdays always. No sweat Man, Wednesday. Were you trying to sweat on a Wednesday? <laughs> Man, Can't I believe love we're sweating that. on Wednesday. Why are you sweating on a Wednesday, dude? <laughs> All right, that does it for us, guys. We're going to head down to the bar. Afterwards, we're going to be right back here. Hopefully, it's a winner's lounge. I feel good about it. Big win for the Nuggets tonight. It's my prediction. Let's go. We'll see you guys on the other side. Later.